Hello, I'm Giuseppe Albano, the curator of the Keith Shelley House in Rome. I'm standing here on this beautiful, cold, sunny, very noisy morning in Rome to tell you about this year's Keith Shelley Prize, whose theme is writ in water. These words come from the epitaph on the gravestone of John Keats, who is buried here in the city's non-Catholic cemetery. The epitaph reads, here lies one whose name was writ in water. These nine words are the last poetic words that John Keats composed. They were revealed by the poet to the artist Joseph Seven, who was buried alongside Keats in the non-Catholic cemetery. Uh, these are the words that Keats wanted to appear on his own tombstone, which he told to Seven uh, almost exactly 200 years ago, as he lay dying in the house in Rome. And as we approach the bicentenary of John Keats's death, we thought that these very words writ in water would be a fitting tribute to Keats in the year of the bicentenary of his death, but also a way of inspiring the poets of today. We're also aware this has been a, a tremendously difficult, uh, trying, unprecedented year in so many ways for so many people across the world, particularly for young people who have suffered during this crisis. For that reason, we thought that adversity would be a fitting theme for the young romantic section of this year's prize. And on a final note, I'd just like to say how delighted and honoured we are that the journalist, writer and naturalist Simon Barnes has agreed to be our prize chair once more. That's it for me. I'm going to have a walk now and enjoy this absolutely beautiful, glorious morning in the non-Catholic cemetery, which is closed to visitors at the moment because of the, the coronavirus restrictions. But I'd just like to wish uh, goodbye to everybody and good luck to the entrance to this year's prize.